I just, I just did that though. Look, look, okay, here, and then here, and then up here, and then down here a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead over here, down, up, middle, whatever. I just, I just did that game. Are you a crack or something? That is unacceptable. So anyway, here we are for the final time in this very vast expanse of, I guess, heaven or something. So here we are, like a million miles away once more. So here, I'm gonna do it again, the right way or whatever, because that is exactly what I just did. So down, and then we gotta go up, middle, up, middle. With it. There, thank you, game, for that, I guess, torturous area. I guess, I don't know, whatever. so pixelated. Wow, what a heartbreaking song, you guys. Ah, let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me once more in a very interesting spot. To say the least, and we could probably get that really easily, but what we're gonna do now is indulge ourselves in one of the most annoying things in this entire game. And so here he is on the north side of uh, Castletown, so we're gonna have to head over there eventually. There's gonna be a very convenient spot to be able to get him in a second, but first we're gonna talk to this cuckoo jerk. Oh, welcome! This is the Forgotten Village! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I just had a drink of coffee. 30, no more like 20. Wait a second, where have we heard this before? Blue's Clues! That's how many cats have made it back here to my village. So perhaps you could, you know, just play with them. Fine, we'll play with your stupid cats. They're also lonely. Perhaps you could talk to every one of them. Now, this is one of the most gra not groundbreaking, fourth wall breaking things in any Zelda games. But if you leave the village, you'll be like, you never talk to any of them, do you understand? Cats are forgetful. Okay. So are you just saying they're stupid or something? So... Yes, we got it. Now, this is one of the more annoying parts, and something you want to keep in mind when doing this. We get the cool music again, but these cats roam, okay? They don't stay in the same spot. They just run wherever the hell they feel like it. Now, something I didn't know when I was first doing this. You can't transform into a human to no, like, no avail. You'll still be able to continue on doing whatever it is you wanted to do. Um, but, wow, that is a very favorable view of the backsides of our protagonists, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. So, oh, my God. Get back to the door. So, we can go ahead and talk to these uh, cats now. And hopefully, all right. Oh, yes, Z-targeting. Meow. So, they'll tell us which ones they are, which is kind of uh, convenient. So, we have to find 20 of these again. And, like I said, they enjoy roaming very much. They're in fairly easy places to go to, but they will often... Um, co-mingle with each other, which is really irritating. There's usually one sleeping right here, but he's not here today. I'm gonna go in each of the houses. We'll get this guy while we're here. Usually I get like 10 before I get off to the second half of this area. So, um, up here there should be another one, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope, and... Oh, there you are. And there's also gonna be some on the balconies. And this is what really confused me, is because you can actually jump to the other ones when transforming back. So, okay. I guess you're gonna chill over there. So, alright. So this one I'm pretty sure we just talked to. The tabby is uh, somewhere over here. There's a, what the, what was that noise? That was a weird noise. So over here, there's another one. And this is basically the halfway point. Wow, what are you trying to do down there, kitty? A heel or something. Whoa, where did you come from? Seventh, so meow, meow. So we're gonna jump into here, and there should be, there you are. Now sometimes, I don't know, it might just be me, but are you gonna be in here this time, cats? Or are you not? Probably not. Hmm. So, yeah, like I said, they're kind of upset. Where did you, ah, you weren't in this corner last time? Well, there's nine. So, like I said, we can transform back into a normal human in order to get. Wait a second, did I talk to you, cat? Uh, no, I didn't talk to you. Jesus. Okay. See, see that cat was not there. You, are, you're a jerk, cat. So we can jump up here. And we can go collect a couple more cats. This is a cat just staring at us like, what, bitch? So we're going to transform again. And we're going to go ahead and talk to you, little kitty cat. So, meow. Now, also, something to take note of. Uh, never mind. There's supposed to be a Poe there, but I guess maybe he doesn't show up until after we do this challenge. So we'll get this one out of the way. Um, there should be a cat over here. Oh, there you are. Kitty, where'd you go? Was there a cat there or was that just my... There wasn't supposed to be a cat there. What? 
Whatever, maybe I accidentally pushed him off the edge. Whatever, we're gonna go jump over to here. Ah, we have to jump over to that thing, but we can make uh, different ways over there in a second. So we're gonna jump over here and collect this one. So there's 12. I don't, oh, there's one sleeping right here. You're not usually sleeping there, but I'll take it. So there's 13. Um, so the only way we can get onto the upper floor of this is going through that window I tried jumping through but failed. I'm gonna be hiding behind here like a little jerk. Just look at their, <laughs> look at their necks. It's so video gamey. Like, what kind of a cat does that when a giant monolith of a monster wolf is like staring down their entire bodies? It's like I could scarf you down in like a second, little kitty. And then there's supposed to be two over here, and I can't. Maybe he just decided to run away. Uh, usually just running around up here. There you are. Okay, so there's that. So there's 17. Now there's two that are unaccounted for right now, but they'll probably show up. Actually, I think I know which one. I think I talked to this one, didn't I? Yes, yeah, so we're already buddies. Yes, my cat buddy. So what we're gonna want to do now is probably transform back into a human. And now that I think about it, I probably should have been uh, human link when trying to jump through that thing. But just in case, I'll just go ahead and uh, bust open that glass thing, and hopefully that thing doesn't get scared at us. The cat will sometimes run away. So if we do this, oh, guess he didn't even care. All right, let's go ahead and jump. All right, yes. All right, so transform into a wolf. And now we can talk to this dude. Did you jump off? You asshole! Off all this work I did trying to get up here and you jump off. Jesus, okay, so there you are down here. <laughs> you didn't get very scared. Now the other one I remember, sometimes there are two on that top floor over there, but there's gonna be someone running around over here. Okay, so there's like five over here now. One of you I have not talked to. One of you I have not talked to you. I can almost... <sighs> See, this is where it gets really irritating because you can't tell which ones you've talked to and which ones you have. All right, I guess I've talked to all of you since you guys are apparently retarded. All right, so we're actually going to go up here and transform back into the human. Oh, I remember. Both of them are now accounted for. I know where they are. I know where they are. All right, so if you guys remember, we were up here on this upper floor over here, and uh, that was the other side where we were last time when I was a wolf. So now we can transform back over here, and this one we have not talked to because we remember we saw this one. So we'll talk to you. Yes, yes, 19, and now number 20, baby, right in here. Hopefully, yes, there you are. Yes, we did it, you guys. Wow, meow, everyone's getting along until I leave. Then you guys will be pointless. Go tell the kicker leader. Why don't you tell him? He's right over here. Oh, well, let's go talk to him and get our reward. You talked to all of them. Thanks. How do you even know? Now, your prize is in front of the old lady's house. Make sure you pick it up before you leave. All right, will do. I was actually the fastest time I've ever completed that, but luckily, you get kind of a system for it, so that's pretty good. Now, everything has to be respawned. Whatever. So we got to break that open and continue on. We could break open that one with the board in it. Well, if we head over here, we got, oh my god, it is a piece of heart. Our work has not gone, uh, not gone, not gone untainted. So now we can go ahead and warp back over to Kakariko once again and talk to our old buddy Shad. And here, um, I don't really know what what kind of other way to really explain this other than, you know, likening it to Wind Waker when we're collecting all the Triforce shards. Well, not just shards, you know, the treasure maps which show where the shards are. And it's kind of like that, so we're going to go ahead and do what pretty much is the equivalent of that in this game. And it's not really that bad, it's actually really fast, and I'm guessing I probably have already made a second video by now, just because um, we'll be able to continue on and do that in probably like 10 minutes, so it's actually not too bad. I'm going to go in here, it's like, man, it is so cozy in here. So we're going to go drop down here, let's talk to Renato, we haven't talked to you in a lot. Acquaintance of Telmas is in the cellar right now. <laughs> the acquaintance, he's very interested in that ancient statue down below the sanctuary. All right, we'll go. Ilya, you're just staring off into space. I know you're thinking about me, but show me a little bit of attention when I'm actually here, will ya? So we talk down here to Shad, and if you guys recall, we did indeed get the book. So we're gonna grab the book and talk to Shad with the book. So, statues, the word that breaks the seal, and the rod of the heavens. It, it just gets odder and odder. Wouldn't the word be more odd? I don't, odder just sounds like otter like or whatever now now Ilya's memory is the last clue we have to solving this strange puzzle about the heavens wow you are really behind on the times what are you running windows 96 jesus ellison what shall we do well, i'll tell you what we do bitch i got myself an ancient playboy right here man feast your eyes on this darling what's this uh, it's the sky writing oh, we're in blazes did you get this look how wide his eyes are oh man you don't suppose this could be the word that breaks the seal out of the entire book? You need a single word. <sighs> Whatever. Right, l let's try it out.
He has such like a Japanese voice. Like I could totally see someone like, like I don't know. N no reaction. So it's not this statue. Ugh. Allison, thanks ever so. You have brought me one step closer to solving this puzzle. I shall give the book back to you. Oh, I shall try this word on, on the other statues. I've made the rounds of these statues so many times that I've memorized their locations. Oh, nice. I'll place marks on your map so you can find them in case you wish to track me down. Well, actually, we'll never actually be able to see him in any of these places. So, you are an asshole. <laughs> Remember, every one of these marks is near an owl statue. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. Jeez, what is this Majora's Mask? He's going to go weep in the corner. He's going to go drown himself in alcohol. Wait a second. What was that? Uh, oh, oh my. Oh my god, you guys. Our pimp rod is returned. Oh man, this mystical rod breathes life in it. Okay, we already know this. You guys, I love this thing so much. <laughs> oh man, he's like, Shad, come back here. The writing in the book was a spell that imbued the staff with magic. Okay, so now we can do the other statue we did before. So he said we mark. Yes, he did. Didn't you see him? You know, take like ten minutes to mark each place down. Well, anyway, now we can head back, and we are gonna go and warp to each of these six areas. I just said that really weird. Each one of these six areas, in order to um, get a character for the special word that is needed to open up the statue or whatever. I don't know. It's it's kind of convoluted in the sense that it is so unnecessary. That is just, uh, it's whatever, but uh, on our way, we'll be able to collect a couple of things that will make our adventures throughout Hyrule without, without, I can't even think of whatever, so, sorry. I, did, I obviously didn't anticipate recording this much, but of course, here we are. So we're going to go ahead and head off to the Bridge of Elden, first and foremost. And in doing this, we'll be able to move the owl statues, uh, grab some stuff, and do some other stuff. So there's your explanation for the video right there. It's like 10 o'clock right now in the morning. And, uh, 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 I don't know. I've got to be watching for my mail in a bit. But we're going to go ahead and head over here. And actually, we're going to want to transform back into a human. Because this will be very beneficial to us. All right, now time to snipe some bitches. So we want to get rid of this guy because he's really annoying. So die. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I like how he does his death animation after falling off that bottom ledge. So now that we've got... <gasps> arrows, 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 arrows. I want some arrows. I want the arrows. All right, now with that finished, we can go ahead and use the Dominion Rod in order to move this owl statue that has conspicuously been placed here in the latter half of the game without anyone noticing. So we're going to go ahead and look at the letters here. And of course, they just have to be characters, I guess. I don't know. Like webdings or something, wingdings too. So here, oh my god, we got another book, you guys. So we got one sky character, so there's more. God, we can't just infer what these things are. So don't kill this guy. The first time I played this, I went ahead and killed this guy pretty easily. It was kind of funny because he's a funny person to watch off fall the edge. So I don't know. I said that really weirdly. It's so funny because, like, the camera pans out so much when he falls. Like, I wish I could kill him right now, but we actually need him for something really fast. Was well, it funny? If you see off left there to that stone structure, I guess, in front of us, they're going to be stupid Bokoblins and their Warhogs trying to run at us, but the, the cliff isn't letting them do indulge themselves in that, which is just hilarious. Oh, my God. It's so funny because if you try and riding one of those Warhogs off the edge, it won't let you, and there's a bunch of Bokoblin archers on there. All right, you know what? Ass. Oops. I said... We're going to kill this guy before he gives us so much pain. So there, headshot. All right, so we're going to grab you again. And there we go. All right, so continue on over here. And this is one of the more annoying parts. Like, it's kind of cool that they put it here. But it's still a little bit annoying in the fact that... Oh, my God, I forgot that Poe in the hidden village. All right, you know what? Uh, but can I go back, please? All right, switch weapons. There, you're dead now. Let's kill your buddies, too, while we got the chance, I guess. Okay, you just randomly got out of the frame there at the last second. Can we kill you without looking at you? No, we can't. There it is. All right. So, oh, there's a buddy there. So we can go kill this guy. Did we Did we kill two of them or something? I wish we did. And there. You're dead now. Okay. Once that's finished, we'll go ahead and go back to the hidden village and collect that pole really fast. I already told you guys where it was pretty much. But I'm going to drop this guy off this edge over here. And then here, um, we have to push him off just a little bit more, which is kind of annoying because you can't, like, hold on to the edges of these guys. You actually have to, like, jump on them, so you have to make sure it's not super close. I guess this probably isn't going to work, but we can try it. Let's go ahead and jump, and go ahead and jump, and... Yep, Link doesn't grab onto that one. He really doesn't like grabbing onto that ledge. It's only when you're, like, halfway on there that he actually indulges himself and in reaching out and not falling, like, ten feet to his hurtful death. Even though it wouldn't really be death, it'd be more like just an inconvenient 
spot to fall. <laughs> Jesus, Link. It's like I thought I hadn't gone far enough, and then he just walks off. Like I'm blaming the game for my my basic platforming failures. Let's just try it again, shall we? And there it is. All right, cool. So up here, this is kind of annoying too because there's actually going to be an enemy up here sometimes, which is, doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna climb up here while the sun is rising. Yep, reach up for the sunrise. Hey, Poppy Carter. Yes, I caught you in the nuts. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. There, your manhood has been decreased to death now, and he died. <laughs> So with this, ladies and gentlemen, we got another heart piece. There's one more. We got another heart container, so that's very good. Now we probably could go ahead and warp off to the next area, which would be Kakariko Gorge. But first, ow, that was such a pathetic fall. I don't even know what to call it. We're going to go ahead and call um, Estrella just for one. Okay, I want that is not what I wanted to do. What did I have equipped there? Claw shot. Yeah, there. So we're going to go ahead and call Estrella. And sometimes if you call her while you're on the bridge of Elden, she'll come from like the far end, which is really funny. Uh, nope, no you didn't. Very nice. Good opponent, baby. I love you. So might as well. Alright, I'll meet you guys back in the hidden village in just one moment. Hey,